For too long, we've lived in a world of canceled and delayed. No more. Those plans you've been making, they're on. Thanks to OnGo, the number one ranked at-home rapid COVID-19 test. So that vacation where you get to swim with the pigs, it's on. Your friend's wedding that was pushed back four times, it's on. The roar of the stadium, it's on too. OnGo, COVID-19 test results in minutes. OnGo is available at letsongo.com slash radio and Amazon. This product has been authorized by the FDA during the public health emergency only and only for the detection of proteins from SARS-CoV-2, not other viruses. The claim number one ranked is supported by ECRI's usability evaluation conducted in December 2021. All right, I am sharing with you what some have called the most excellent, the most fun edition of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast, episode 62. Now, I'm going to give you a free view of it. In it, um, it kind of like sets the table for what is to come throughout the rest of it. So I'm dropping, I don't know, about 20, 25 minutes of, of the show. It goes on for an hour 40 um, some would say, Zane, you're giving them too much of it. You know, no, I'm not. I want you to be able to enjoy this, uh, for free. And if you really, really want to help out the show, then you sign up for my Patreon and then you can enjoy the rest of it and get the 15 plus hours of content each week that I put up there. In addition to my free daily podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the time and checking it out. If you want the full show. Okay, I've got a list uh, on the show notes of this show about all the other things we talked about so you can get an idea. If you want the full show, patreon.com slash Eric Zane. That's P S and Paul, A T S and Tom, R E O N, patreon.com slash Eric Zane. More information all there. I mean, obviously, I've been talking about this for three years. If you haven't signed up yet, you're probably not. My God, I suck. No, I'm just kidding. I don't I actually feel really good about myself. I have utmost confidence in me. Never a problem. Anyway, sign up five or ten bucks a month and uh, off you go. Thank you so much. Enjoy this free view of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast. Ben, 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 Ben. Eric, 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 Eric. Ben. Can you hear me? Yes. Are you wet? Oh, I'm so, so wet. So wet, so hard. My nipples are hard. Oh, man. <laughs> I got, I got pre-cum on my pants. <laughs> Come on my pants. God. <laughs> We're sick. Yes. We are sick. We're live, by the way. Okay. All right. Great. I should probably I'm let sorry. you know that first. <laughs> hey, uh, I eat ass. Yeah. Mark Norman. <laughs> yeah. Gotten his ass eaten. Yeah. I don't know if I could do, I don't know if I would like that. I wouldn't subject a woman to that. Yeah. I wouldn't. Uh, I don't know if I'm comfortable. No. I mean, uh, if she just decided, if Diana suddenly just decided to chow my ass, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I could uh, handle. I, I'd be like, I have this, I have this look on my face, just like, oh, oh, right, oh, I don't know. It might be, it might be a little, might be a little much. I don't think I'd ever be able to kiss my girlfriend after that. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to really wash ahead of time. Oh yeah. In anticipation. Definitely. And that, and that kind of wrecks the mood, you know, Hey, I, I heard you're going to eat my ass. So I gotta, I gotta wash my <laughs> asshole it's before so you, before you eat my ass. Right. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey guys. Uh, welcome in to, uh, to you, you all, Ben and I were just talking about, uh, uh guys who get their ass eaten. Yeah. And <laughs> There's Megan. She's still in her work clothes. She, here we are. She's with all the very, very professional looking. Uh, and and uh, and she, you are. And and here we are talking about eating ass. Yeah. Hello. 
So, I mean, I that... <laughs> just started here. Uh, what's going oh. on? Okay, now I'm trying to mute. Okay, there you go. I could just hear. Hey, Jamie, oh. how are you? Jamie, we were just talking about ass eating. <laughs> I have keys and a check here for you. Are you gonna come pick up your damn car? I know. I'm glad you brought that up because I uh, I was I I'm not gonna be able to pick it up until Saturday. So I'm gonna pay you tomorrow, and then I'll do the lock lock box thing. You know, I'll put so. your check in the car. I should have put it in the mail last week, earlier this week. Hey, don't even worry about that. That's all. <laughs> that's all boring business stuff. So anyway, getting back to what we were talking about. Yeah. Is I'll bring Dean in here too, because he's, he would want to be involved in this too. Uh, ben and I just talked about, you know, <laughs> you can't really, that's a really weird spot to be in. If, uh, if, if your significant other, starts to eat your ass and you don't see it coming. I mean, you just be sitting there doing the normal business. And then all of a sudden your ass is getting eaten. I mean, that's a, that's a <laughs> shocker. That's a real shocker to be sure. I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I've come across, I've had a friend that's, that's done it, had it done to him. He's had Maybe. it done to her hit. He no, had not, done. not, not quote unquote friend. It wasn't me. It, was, oh, it okay. wasn't me. Well, Steve's I mean, doing quotes. Uh, no, okay. yeah, I, I had a friend who did it and, and enjoyed it. Yeah, I think that would be enjoyable, but it might be such a ah. bizarre moment at first when she suddenly, if your if your significant other starts to eat your ass. Yeah, and then, yeah, I don't know. Um, if Amanda was here, she would she would weigh in on this because she's all about about butt. So, hey, hey, uh, Laura, it's a long time no see. How are you? Welcome good, back. How are you? Very, 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 very well. We're doing great. Good to see you. Um, you Kevin Kuyper is just getting done with work. I see some folks are still like uh, just coming home from. So uh, uh, definitely a different time on the show today. Uh, Linda and Maureen already into the wine. So that's good. Oh, nice. And that's yes. Yes. They're teammates. Um and so, yeah, we had to do get this show done early today because, uh, well, it's just a, a crazy packed week. We've got stuff going. I've got stuff going on tonight and then tomorrow night. And then Saturday. who wants to do it? Saturday. Saturday's the time to kind of not worry about this shit. You know, Ben? <laughs> yeah. So okay. I agree. So now, Ben, getting back to this ass eating thing. <laughs> All right. If um, so, what if. Uh, your significant other said, Ben, um, I really want you to eat my ass. What, what do you do there? I mean, that's uh, you, if you delay, she's going to like, wait, wait, what's going on? How come he doesn't want to do this? What, tell me what, what, how you'd handle this. I, I think I'd have a couple drinks and then do it. I mean, if it's being asked of me, right. I might if as well said, try it. Look, I really want to, I really want to amp things up. I'm going to need your mouth on my asshole. <laughs> Luckily, so, I know I'm in a relationship that it, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I know. But but I'm just, but, uh, I'm just trying but to. Yeah, if if yeah, I, I'd I'd have a couple beers and then I'd also ask her to be clean. I, I would. Oh man, I listened to a guy on a podcast that he likes it when his wife comes home after like a run, like a jog. Yeah, and then he then he does it. Oh boy, that's uh he likes a little. A little ascent from the woman. Ah, that's that's rough sledding right there. <laughs> yeah, you know I. But me, boy. Yeah. I'd have to, have, you know, shower, douche, enema, whatever. Well, yeah. I mean, come on. Um, yeah, you're not an animal. I mean, you'll you'll eat your own semen, like you indicated in a previous show. But <laughs> I almost had a spit take. Yes, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's different. That, 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 that's... It's different. I know it's a lot worse. No, 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 no. Semen's way better than, than poop. Yeah, I guess. I guess if I, I mean, if uh, poop, the butthole's if, a different animal, man. if a serial killer walked in here and said, look, I'm going to let you live, but you have to either eat semen or poop. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to eat the semen. Yeah, me too. I am. It's a no-brainer. Yes. 
that that uh, I mean, come on now. <laughs> I would I would guess that if you pulled ten people and they had to choose, okay, we, tell we, you what, we, we, yeah, put your put like a one up for semen and a two for poop. Okay, so all the audience members, uh, Andrea, <laughs> Andrea, Andrea would do it with all the semen. serial killer. His semen or his poop or your semen or your poop. Does it matter? It it doesn't. It doesn't matter. You 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 choose. You can either eat your own semen or your own doo doo, or his. So <laughs> uh, hold up a one for reproductive material. Andrea has already consumed it all, and then two for doo doo. Uh, Terry says three. That's not a choice. All right, that's a very informal poll going on there. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if if I uh, should get Diana involved in this. Ooh, yeah. This is a great way to start the show. I think she's taking a nap right now. So she probably wouldn't be too impressed if I woke her up to actually (laughs) ask her about what she would choose. If the menu served only semen and poo-poo, what (laughs) you would choose. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Uh you should put that poll up on Twitter. <laughs> Just oh yeah. There's that, no way. By the way, um Megan was a little uh confused because Nick had not reacted to any of this for some time and she realized it was his picture there. Oh. Just staring. <laughs> <laughs> there you are i think you're wearing the same hoodie yeah in real life as you are in your still image so i see uh rob v is here that's nice aram is here awesome terry driving home from work okay yeah uh nick says give me the bullet not an option do do or semen you choose (laughs) anyway ah He's a serial killer. How is that not the option? Look, I'm just telling you for this theoretical game we're playing, you cannot throw in your own variables. You can only <laughs> throw in what is the options are. The menu calls that evening for doo-doo or semen. <laughs> I wish I had beer for this episode. Oh, <laughs> man. This is... Oh. Get Megan's taking calls. Irvine's auto repair... Grand Rapids Hybrid and EV. How can I do? Do we do eat poo poo or semen? God, that's great. <sighs> okay, all right. Um, well, today's been a, a, a fun-filled day of uh, of uh, death. Let's uh, let's take a look at uh, where is it now? Jesus, I always fuck this up. Damn it! Why do I do this to myself? Um, uh, all right. This is incredible. I was, um, I guess there's a, um, a website that, or it's a Twitter feed, a Twitter follow. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see like, it looks like, yeah, it's it's Twitter. Okay. Uh, this is some ramshackle neighborhood in, uh, somewhere in Ukraine and mom, Mom has now, I, now the, the, the voices you hear will be the baby crying who gets the shit scared out of her. We're not going to see anything like that. But if you think for a second that the asshole Russians are uh, going after strategic targets, watch this. Oh, no. Oh, God. That is real. Yeah. So the the fighter flies in and goes, "Hey, I think I'll just let one fly right here in this in this dumpy neighborhood." You can see the jet coming in, and then yeah. he fires. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Oh my god! Holy shit! For too long, we've lived in a world of canceled and delayed. No more. Those plans you've been making, they're on. Thanks to OnGo, the number one ranked at-home rapid COVID-19 test. So that vacation where you get to swim with the pigs, it's on. Your friend's wedding that was pushed back four times, it's on. The roar of the stadium, it's on too. OnGo, COVID-19 test results in minutes. OnGo is available at letsongo.com slash radio and Amazon. This product has been authorized by the FDA during the public health emergency only and only for the detection of proteins from SARS-CoV-2, not other viruses. The claim number one ranked is supported by ECRI's usability evaluation conducted in December 2021. Uh, so that's the bad of war. This yeah. is the good CNN's coverage. So 
you've got air raid sirens and it's a very stark thing that they're showing on CNN and yeah, you know, it's just terrible, but we still got to take a commercial break. (laughs) God. Yeah. (laughs) Russia invades Ukraine. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yes oh, what a oh, god. Oh my that, god. That, that dancing commercial. What oh, the hell? Well, um, I don't feeling think, good in the neighborhood. Feel, feel, looking tasting good in the neighborhood. Yeah. Palming good in the neighborhood. Right. Oh shit. Um, oh, so a lot of folks like uh, Nick is uh, is going down the road of saying that Joe Biden being so weak that Putin thought he could get away with that. A lot of people are suggesting that. Now, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty uh, that's a, a thing that I, I mean, I mean, it, that he that the suggestion is being made that this would never have happened if anyone but Biden were there because they'd be like, oh, no way, man, it. Someone else would have kicked our ass, but I don't know, man. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, Russia has been invading countries since back in 2008, I believe. So this is just absolute shit. Uh, just the, those, as Stevie says, that's awful. Those poor, those poor people without a doubt, man. So, but you know what though? There ain't shit we can do about this outside no. of like dropping a nuke. Right. Or, or uh, you know, sending troops over there. God, I hope not. So this is just terrible. It's kind of tough to come up with things to talk about on a show like today. I did like today because there's so much weirdo shit going on that um, it's difficult to like find anything worth talking about, you know? Right. I mean, True. something that's not about this. Yeah. I was looking through news oh. articles and all it was, was basically just Russia, Ukraine. I know. What is the, what is the reasoning for them taking over Chernobyl? Do you know? No, no. Because and- that's like a, that's a huge news piece that I keep seeing pop up is that they now have control of Chernobyl. Yeah. And that's weird because that, that, uh, that part of Ukraine is, is uninhabited. Yeah. I mean, no one goes right. there because you, I mean, it's the, um, amount of radioactive material from right when that thing melted down that sounds like a that sounds like a bad way to start a war go to the one place you can't go you know (laughs) exactly but apparently there was like troops that fought against each other for it i guess is what it seems Uh, like chernobyl has fallen yeah so i don't know um i i don't know shit about shit but uh, you ever watch that tv show on hbo you know I'm glad to say that I did. Okay, good. Yeah, that's one of the best uh, shows that I've ever seen. Yeah, it was um, it was excellent, really well done. Um, and to think that um, I was reading that very little of that was exaggerated, right? Like like the guy, the the fireman who picked up the um, uh, chunk of those portion of the reactor that blew up and then yeah. like an hour later his hands fallen off right oh, <laughs> oh god shit yeah the people in the hot in the in the doctor's beds were just oh. awful yeah. hey hey sorry your skin's gonna fall off any second yeah. now yeah. oh my god uh aram says chernobyl was my recommendation well you nailed oh, it nice. my friend yes he Good got he, he got me to watch that he got me to watch that um kevin kuyper's dropped out we'll bring him back Dennis G is joining us now. So yeah. Uh, Ben, well, what do you got going on this weekend, man? Any, um, uh, uh, speaking of licking ass, <laughs> nothing on the plate besides helping my grandma work on her, uh, basement, get, get it, get her basement cleaned out. Is she moving out like, or something? Or no, what's- it just, it looks like a mess and she's got a, a plumbing issue where like, half of her basement or well not half maybe like a third of her basement is like flooding well there's a huge water leak and she's had this tried having this taken care of like twice and they said it was guaranteed forever and still nothing Wait a minute. It, it's not working so somewhere inside of the home water is leaking water is coming into her basement yeah oh like um uh, you know, like how you waterproof your home to yes. keep water from seep. It's not like a pipe burst, right? 
No, right, correct. Okay. It's coming in from yeah, from the outside. From <laughs> like when the snow melts or she she thinks it was also from uh her hose setup. So okay. I don't know what it so, is. So now when you when you um so she call the people that did it and make them come do it. Yeah, again? they haven't they haven't gotten back to her. Oh Just no. pissing her off. Okay. But you know how that's gonna work out. She's gonna be on the news. Say, all right, <laughs> exactly. I call them. They won't call me back. Shit. Then they're gonna have to send the news reporter out there. And oh yeah. Uh, so, um, <laughs> do you ever shop at the uh, Clyde Park Meyer? Yes, that's uh, right by where I used to work. It's we have two Meyer that are close to us, and that's one of them. And so that's that's one that we usually uh, frequent. So. Okay, I heard so you heard that some assholes <laughs> walking around there stabbing people in the back. Yes, uh, my girlfriend's mom sent us the article. I think. Okay, or, well they no, she didn't send us the article. She she sent a very long text warning us not to go there. Yeah. So Jesus, I mean, come on. Um, yeah. Just is ran... it a homeless guy? I think so because the guy is in custody. The bad guy who was stabbing people in the back. Um, yeah. An old man got stabbed and uh and some young dude got stabbed. But whew, my God. Random act that, that scares the shit out of me. Random act of violence. Oh yeah. You know? For there to be like no reason to do it, like yeah. to you. Yeah, just you know, you haven't confronted a person, you're not getting in a fight with that person, you just randomly get stabbed no, in the back. Just randomly get attacked. Uh uh. Solomon is here. Solomon. Oh, nice. We're, we're so hi. We're so glad you're back, Saul. If you could unmute, I need to know what's going on in your world, Saul. I, I didn't know, get stabbed. I know. Hey, Saul, what's going on? How's it going? How how's work? Hi, Ben. Hey, what's going on? Well, it hasn't started yet. It starts oh, that's right. Monday. Okay. It's going down Mo on Monday. Monday you have work and uh it's uh, I'm telling you man this is a, this is a big day you must be stoked to make fat stacks of cash Saul Yeah I know I'm pretty excited but I'm also pretty nervous cuz um you know the last job through um TRCC which is the local um community college here Yeah mm -hmm. we um I was set up through the um, agency for the blind that I have a clients of and uh, student employment services. So I kind of knew that I was already going to get it. It was just a matter of me sitting down with them and trying yeah. to figure out what accommodations I needed. Is there but, any, is, is there any beef that needs to be, uh, is anybody, any, any bad feelings about this? No, no, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm just nervous about just starting this whole new process, you know, but okay. there's no bad feelings towards anybody or nothing. I All right. Know. That's good. You're starting clean. How yeah. about it? How about an update on the Thai Cobb sandwich? So <laughs> Oh, um, I haven't heard anything back from them. I don't know when they're going to publish oh. their, uh, um, top, top three, uh, winners yet, but, um, I haven't heard anything from them. Now, what now? I think it was Linda who talked about, you know, because there is a thing called a Cobb salad. And uh, I, I, I'm kind of starting to think that a Thai Cobb salad might even be more fun. Saul? Yeah. I mean, I haven't thought about that either. So maybe if it, maybe if it doesn't, uh, yeah. Um, you know, get, Maybe, 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 maybe if I don't get in the top three this year, I can resubmit and go with that idea yeah. next year. All right. Now, Saul, we had a topic earlier in this show that you were not here for that. I'm glad you're oh, here God. now. Oh, God. Saul, now you're an adult. So we sometimes talk about very adult things on this show, correct? Right. Okay. So what are your <laughs> thoughts, Saul, on, on getting your ass eaten? <laughs> Well, I don't know if you mean like Adrian Peterson. No, like uh, like spanking no. your child. No, 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 not beaten. No, let me. You said eaten. Let yeah. me let me back up. <laughs> oh, like literally eaten. Yeah, like, yeah. So like oh. uh, I'm there. Mrs. 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 Ten and I are having are making whoopee, Saul. 
And then all of a sudden, uh, she disappears. And I'm like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, um, that would be weird, I think. Um, your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be weird, I guess. I don't really have any thoughts about that. But I yeah. guess, uh, you know, if you're, if you're doing something together and your yeah, partner yeah. just leaves you unexpectedly, then... That's a big problem. Well, no, what I meant when I said she disappears, I, I meant like her face is gone because she's she's eating my ass. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I meant, Saul. Yeah. Well, so, I haven't lost my virginity yet. Oh, so. okay. Well, you know, Saul, never mind. You, you did not have to offer that up. I just wanted, I mean, I know that that. Right, well, we're all friends here. And yeah, I don't yeah. Think we're anybody's, hey, nobody cares? knows my, I'm not, I haven't told personally my friends or family. Yeah. And, they're, well, yeah. My parents, so, and I think my parents pretty much know what I'm doing. So I'm not going to broadcast this publicly to my no, own no, personal no. page. So. Make, sure, make sure that they don't know that we had this conversation. Okay. <laughs> but all right. maybe bring it up at dinner. Ooh. <laughs> I'm I kidding. Don't, I don't I'm kidding. know. I'm I totally don't know kidding. That one. No, no, hey, no. Dad. Hey, hey dad. dad. Yeah, no, don't do it. Do not do that. But we were having this adult conversation. Ben and I brought it up that, wow, I mean, that is a thing that all the kids are doing this. And we don't know yeah. if we would like that, Saul. It might be a little too much for your yeah. old pal, your old pal, Eric Zane. Yeah, I think so. As long as you're wearing a condom, that's my main issue. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it's always important to consider to be yeah, practicing be safe. safe sex. Yeah. I mean, for so God's that's sake. my issue. Like, I don't know if if if, if she starts biting my ass and it hurts. Then, right, right. And right. you yes. know, I'm 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 more concerned. Am I bleeding? Is there blood yes. gone? You know. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Saul, those are good points. And I, I mean, if I'm there and I'm like, Hey, wait a minute, what are you doing? That, I, 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 that, that is, uh, are you going too far? So, right. Yeah. It. That's, that's a little there's too the much. gimmick and then there's going too far. Uh, so. <laughs> right now. I think Saul. I'm not an expert on this, but I think it's all metaphorical. I don't think she's actually going to bite your ass. I think it's, it's, uh, the mouth zone is doing, uh, various a uh, 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 tongue and lip action around the actual uh, anal zone is what that is. Oh, <laughs> if I understand, okay. I, I have only seen it in films. Yes. But okay. anyway, well, anyway, this is, this is all way weird. Uh, let me just, yeah, I'll just, I know. I, yeah. I, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't, I didn't want to mess you up. It sounds like you're on the other side of the room. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I was just trying, I was just going to, Plug, I would just plug in, it's going to plug in my computer and just going to see how much battery I have. I think I have enough. Oh, okay. All right. I thought, never mind. All right. Well, I'm perfect. Well, I'm going to mute you and we're going to okay. get going with the next topic. Okay. All right. All I'll right, be buddy. back for jokes. Yep. Right. Yep. All right. There you go. All right. That's it. The free view of the Ben and Eric Patreon podcast. Let's go eat some ass. Thanks folks. Have a good one. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. For too long, we've lived in a world of canceled and delayed. No more. Those plans you've been making, they're on. Thanks to OnGo, the number one ranked at-home rapid COVID-19 test. So that vacation where you get to swim with the pigs, it's on. Your friend's wedding that was pushed back four times, it's on. The roar of the stadium, it's on too. OnGo, COVID-19 test results in minutes. OnGo is available at letsongo.com slash radio and Amazon. This product has been authorized by the FDA during the public health emergency only and only for the detection of proteins from SARS-CoV-2, not other viruses. The claim number one ranked is supported by ECRI's usability evaluation conducted in December 2021.